God. When he made the family, he made father and mother. A great part of the, the desestructure of our society, it comes because the original plan of God just broken. And, but it doesn't change. The God's original plan, the ori the, how the things need to be. God put the big responsibility of the home over the dad, over their fathers. When God chose a nation to train and show how the society is to need to be strong, so he he gave a lot of instruction to the dad, to the fathers, to the man. No generic father, but he gave instruction to mom. He focused he focused on father because father has the decisive factor in the success of the fa the kids of the family successful. Unfortunately, in a lot of society, we have a, a one of the worst society. The God's plan he just left behind. Indeed, we have a family, a father's family, like a father to be responsible to the family. He is in front of God. It doesn't matter about his society. They told us the father will be judged to God about the family. The possibility to be the how the kids know God or not, to be in heaven or not. In the judgment day, the man will respond to his family. In our state, Amazonas, it's called Amazonas. We can, we can see that it's about a legend based on a tribe when the, the women used to use the men just to make kids, they kill them or just put them far away from there. Like a warrior woman and women, but without husband. But family without husband is not the plan of God. We live in a society that reflects that. Most all of our of society, they do have a father presence. They have a, um, a woman, the other, everything. When the man is just like, acts like a playboy, responsible, just like a loser, make kids and don't. A, the mom takes care of the kids or the sister. And the tip, the tip of the responsibility that God gave us, but the church can revert that. It can be reverted just because the society that has this as a, a, a order, but we can, we can change it. We need to bow down. We don't need to bow down to this tragedy. We can stand up. We can break this cycle and make strong families when the man can assume his responsibility in front of God as a father, a real father. And certainly we will make, we can see in our church actually different families, successful kids. That's a different style. We can see it. Tonight we're going to talk about 70 things that God can, can talk to the fathers, the man, father, father. 70 things that the father can have to teach his kids, to children. It's a lesson very, very important. Take notes of a verse. We have a lot of verses here. We, we are going to say the verses. I'm going to make a paraphrase here. 
So you can check in the, in your home. In the end, of, every father has we receive a short part of 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 this of this study. Right, you take it home. You take with you to your home. First of all, all the fathers need to teach to his kids. Kids, men, boys and girls, obedience and respect. Obey and respect to the fathers, the kids. This help to the woman, woman in this big responsibility. Proverbs 17 11. God made an establishment to the father with his family, to take care of his family. He's not a crazy man. He's like a leader responsible for this family. For this is why you need to teach your kids. They need to learn how to obey, to respect the mom and you. Don't feel afraid about speak to fight to the mom. Don't, don't allow it. You, the kids need to honor you and the mom to be a person that needs respect. You need respect to be respected. Two weeks ago, someone told me the biological father just left them. Three kids just left the mom and the kids. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with another woman. When the the kids has like is like 16, 17, 18, he show up again. He sh hey, you are you don't belong here. Just get out of here. You don't belong to us. You don't have any any. Just get out of here. I had I talked to her. Hey, go to the law. Go to the looking for a lawyer and. Because they need to pay you for 18 years without help you. Because sometimes God sends you some man just to make you. Because God has made plan in you since the beginning of the world. Do you be blessed or someone? Because it sh need to be you, not another one. It sh should be you. That's the reason that sometimes he, he gave you a adopted dad, father. You have the same responsibility as like a biological father. Because he... Or just to replace a responsible father or just a dad that passed away, maybe. The first thing that you need to shoot to test your kids obedience obedience is everything the obedient kid will be a good citizen when i was to take a bath to my dad we we should to be obedient when we was a kid he is 95 years i told him hey dad you are you are living more than you should to live 15 years, I guess so. And God wanted you to learn this lesson, for example, when the kid is, is young, right? When he was born, he's born small. For example, in the creation of the world, the man could make the kid, right? Just like a you have the kid who was born like a balloon, like right, just like a a carry a balloon like a, through nine months, and uh, for example, elephant has two years. The elephant has a process like that. With we were, the kid was born like uh, with bird with beard bird, mustaches. 
But did you want that 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 the mom? God wants the father and the mother teach the kids when the kids are small. Hey, come here! No, I don't want you. He's small. Take the kid and no, no, no. Don't say no for me. He take it. <laughs> he take the kid away. God has given you opportunity to show you who you is the boss, who's the leader. But sometimes the, ki the, the father wants to teach the kids just like when the kid is like nine, 11 years. But it does it right. Obedience to me to be is need to be teaching like since the kid is very very small, like until four years old. So pastor, I'm bad because my my, my kids are disobedient. Don't obey me. What I, what I need to do? He do what he want, what she wants, what she wants. Why? You know why? Because, because I knew that mom. The mom never teach, never taught the kids. Now he is paid a, a high price, expensive chip, and the the kid is now a teenager. So if you made some mistake, we need to make a meeting of your kids in your house. I commit some some sins against you, but now you need to op start to obey me. How? How can I do that? So read the Bible with them. Read the constitution of the Bible with the kids. How can I do that? How can I force it? How? Yeah, I need to hit them? No, no, no. Who you pay your... Who pay the light, the AC, the computer, the, the school, who pays the, the clothes? You are with all things in your hands. How can I do that? You ask for yourself. Are you crazy? You have all the power in your hands. But it's not about that God wants. So, assume this responsibility in your hands. It start again. Pray to God a lot. God wants that you teach the certain man in good sense for your kid. Discernment is like you teach how to live because this is kind of difficult for the man because the man, how you said before, he think a lot. The man think a lot. But the man think he just inside when did he speak? What? 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 What are you saying? Because this this thought come a lot of before. He speak less, but he think a lot. Sometimes he thinks in, in loud voice. This looks like the women speak more, but. He's, he's speaking like a thinking loud voice. Yeah, because sometimes women speak all he, she thinks. But the man needs to think discernment, to think less. You need to... You are teaching, you are teaching your kid like you are making something. You are teaching... Why are you doing that to your kids? You need to explain them. How can you learn that for example when I was like a 10 years old my my grandpa was a, a farmer he can do it and anything everything right fix a lot of things he was make some buildings of a wood and I want to know why he use it a square uh, nails here, nails nails here. He made it with two triangles. Why did you do only a square? I, I need to show you. He puts a nail in the square. 
Okay, David, do it that, do it that, do it that. He just, he move it. He didn't have a heart. It's not hard. He just weak. Now I'm gonna show you one snails here, here, and here. Now try to move it. So I learned it when I was 10. This to took is to a basic structure for an engineer. All the things that make the things together is a triangle. This is a lens of life. All every day I use that like twice a week. This this teaching, this learning. You need to teach it. You need to explain why are you teaching this kind of lesson for your kid. It's not just to say it like a decreed, like a order without reason. It's you can make your kid a frustration. You can put the frustration. Oh, kid, I, <laughs> I'm walking like it to the table and I'm doing that, for example. No, 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 you don't need to say it. You need to plan the important things. You need to have good sense. You need to teach them good sense. It's like you are beauty of rocket. And, for example, Space Shadow, the, the ship. He's like a 16, 17. He was playing that. They shoot to per top it the, the, of the rocket. It's, they spent a lot of money there. It's to how it to work it, how to the rocket to fl fly. Now you using the computer. Just you know it. You put all the things that you think in the computer, but you don't waste your time. You don't waste your time and money there. Discernment is like uh, the able, the ability to, to put all the things in your head, work in your head, and put in in the real life. This is the process of uh, the dad needs to learn to do the kids has good sense. The third key, the third thing that God wants that you teach, choose well your friends, how you choose your friends. You are responsible to the kids of your kids, kids, friends of your kids, because this kid will influence, you will get influence your kids. Proverbs 13, if 23, walk with the wise people, you'll be wise. You walk with the full people, you'll be full. I remember when I was, was a kid, I have a neighborhood. They have a little park, and we used to like, we play that. But when I was talking with my father, I was talking with my dad, and my, my father shoot to con, con captured the, the center of the contraband of Manaus. My, my dad was so smart. My, my father got in this conclusion. Hey, you don't go to that place anymore, to this little park, to that playground anymore. Because I think that some things happens there that they are not honest people. So you don't go there anymore. But there, there. Okay, you don't go there anymore. But my mom support my dad. No, no, are you crazy? What do they think about us? You don't need to do it. How can you gain them to the Christ, reach them to the Christ? Sometimes men know more men than you think you, you do. Certainly it was a very good decision because the people was raising up in in that in that that place they grew up with bad people as a bad people in corruption people we we study in the same college 
Mas um dia meu pai, olhando lá do, da, da janela de cima, ele ouviu algumas coisas e viu algumas coisas e, e ele desceu na calma e chegou e disse assim, Maurício, você não é mais bem-vindo aqui em casa. Não venha mais aqui. Que assim, ele ficou mais assim ainda, que às vezes eu vi ele do outro lado da rua, mas ele nunca mais entrou na nossa casa. Hoje eu sei por quê. Era um cara imoral. Tá no máximo. Eu não sei se eu deixei escapulir alguns palavrões, porque ele usava bastante palavrões. Eu não sei o que, que deu as dicas para o meu pai, eu não sei bem o que... I don't know what he saw. Ele cortou, sabe uma coisa? I don't know what he saw. Ele ter cortado essa amizade. But my dad was really, really wise. I cut it off my friendship with that family, my friends. My dad was really, really wise in this situation. Dad, you need to, to try to help them, your kids to make the decision. Like the kids will be failed or being successful people or to go to heaven or to hell. And God gave you this, this thing to do. Teach your kids to protect your minds. Above all, you need to protect your mind, your heart. Because there it comes, comes to life, determine the course of your life. You need to protect the, the mind of the kids, you need to protect of the movies that they watch, the cartoons, because we have a lot of cartoons that the Bible say you need to be smart, you need to be all the movies, all the cartoons, all the things we watch on TV, they have under a philosophy. Because every artist lives in philosophy, so the artist creates in... For example, you remember the marketing of the... Melicinhas, pure rebel people, pure rebel people. When I watch in the malls, the nine-year girls, just, just, just like made in the Melicinhas, just like a rebel girl selling selling sandals. It was a philosophy of a rebel. You remember the soap opera? They have the same the same theme subject. The fathers they don't know how to do neurotic people, just like full people. Stupid people all have a, a boy or girl, a nine-year girl, a wise girl that teach the dad and the kids, that teach the father, the mother, everything's go well. That's a, a opposite philosophy to the God, and the everybody is, is feeding by that. You need to ask to God discernment. That's the reason the proverb is very, very important. With that, you need to watch with what your kids are watching. You need to watch it together. How to help them with that? For example, we have a lot of cartoons. They are made for kids. It's a philosophy to rebel, like with no God, to take God off of, of everything. With magic, we need to know, you should know what your kids who your kids are put inside their minds. You need to know the philosophy of your the school that kids are studying. But we are talking about heaven or hell. Uh, we are talking about eternity tonight. So we need to do it. You need to be careful with the games. How we have a lot of violence of the in the world. The media knows because a lot of money, it's uh, games, they have it's a lot of video games. The kids we have four, five, six, a, a half. Kill people, take bombs. Why a society is so violent? The media knows it. Because that train the kids how to be violent. Satan is training his night. You need to cut it off. And to the to the roof, the magazines, the computers, the cell phones. For example, a pastor, 
He was a missionary. He was in our house. Hey, I have a magazine here, just like a, a news magazine. Hey, Pastor Juan, we don't know. We don't believe it. We have an article here, a paper here, 20, 20 papers about the Vietnam, Vietnam soldiers. In my 11 years, when I was 11 years, I was here all about. And I was just hearing all the, the, the theme, the subject. I was hearing about the magazine, the story. And the next day, I, I used to visit his bedroom to check his magazine, to read the stories, just to put my mind a lot of dirty things. When someone come into the, this house, I just hide away the magazine, I play it, I play out. The next day, the people, the next day I was looking for the magazine and just, it just it gone. Where's the magazine? Some years again, I was talking with my father. Yes, I remember. It doesn't matter. Uh, he was my, never mind if he was, he was my pastor, my man. I had five kids. I just cut it off. The I put away in the trash the magazine. Do you understand? My dad, my dad was be careful with us. My house, it was, it was having naked people. Hey, hey, my when my dad was in a shape in a barber. Hey, hey, I don't wanna, I don't wanna naked people here. And the pictures, just take it off. For example, in a store in Manaus, we have a lot of naked people, and my dad talk with the owners. Hey, you don't, you don't need to. Please don't, don't put these kind of things here. The dead are made for dead. Now I know how my 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 brothers and sisters they are in successful people. None of them, they use drugs and they are not in criminal lives. They have efficient life and productive lives. You need to be to choose you very well your kids. You need to protect your mind. You need to help your kids with the world in verses to protect your mind. Yeah. Number five. God wants you to protect to be careful. What you talk, to be careful what you talk. In James chapter 3, they talk about the tongue. If you control your tongue, you control all your body. If you control your body. Proverbs 24, 24. Take away from the bad words all the kind of me. Ephesians 5, 5, 4. You don't need to speak. You don't speak bad words. And no immorality words, immoral words. Don't allow the, your kids murmur with you because God hates it. Just speak the grateful words of true words, things that edify you. But you need to be careful, God. When you are playing soccer, you don't need to, you don't say bad words too. For example, I play games with some brothers. I don't have two brothers, for example, that he is playing soccer. We have adrenaline in his body. His body. He speaks bad words. For example, I think that he that his that they that spoke bad words and they grandpa they bad word. You need to cut it off in your life. You don't say bad words in front of your kids. You need to be to ask for forgiving to God. Please, God, forgive me. Get humility in front of God. And God can help you to that. Don't say bad jokes about immoral jokes and indecent jokes. The Bible says, if you speak well, polite, gentle, kind, you be you serve in front of kings. If you speak well, you have... You have, you have to, you be in a great job. Teach your kid to say, please, thank you, excuse me. And you see your kids will be uh, in a very good position. Train your kids to be a polite kids. 
how to be better, how to say, uh, greeting everybody, greet everybody. Teach your kids to don't say the name of God in vain. I'm not talking about only the, the fathers here because we have a lot of mom that use the name of God in vain. The men say caraca, caramba. The men say bad words. The, the mama say, oh my God, oh my Jesus. It's the same in me, right? You put in the name the name of God in a less level. It's like a frustration world. You transform him like a frustration world. Don't use the name of God in vain. Don't put the name of God in vain because his name is, is holy. You need to reference. You make a different thing, big difference in their lives you don't you have no idea how different you will be there's a difference between heaven and hell that's what we are talking about number six teach them how the how the morality immorality is danger proverbs 5 1 to 20 teach your kid how the the immorality is danger is he destroyed the life, he, the future, the money, the eternity. Until the return of the Christ, you'll be the poor. You'll be our enemy. We know the kids that see porn, for example. To 12, to 12, 11 to 12, they get involved for porn like two, three, four years. It is literally he or she produces the brand it's just like they form the brand they form some connections of neurons it can be like for a long long time permanently just like it they form some neurons uh, we are connect for motivation from energy I want my kids here I got so happy for example I want to see you there I don't know he got a medal his dad took him to this kid two three years he got two three medals for invention incredible medal in an incredible invention of industry he's 18 now it's make a difference in your life it brings success in your life he knows what he's doing he wrote this book to our kids get success number seven teach our kid that god see everything and they do second chronicles 17 9 the God's eyes scan all the earth and looking for to get stronger. All the heart they are they have a compromise with God. God is looking for people to bless, to prosper. He says to the evil people too, they have a bad acts to just to destroy you. God sees everything. When the kids are is, is small, he thinks that God, the parent sees everything. God put you. The kid thinks that you are God, that you are in every God help you. That's example after example. If you are that, you know it. If your if your kid are make some bad thing, you know it. You go there. Because your kids need to understand that someone is watching it, watching her, watching him. But a moment comes where if the kid has the conscience that you are not close. But the kids need to be in conscience that God is in everywhere all the time. 
this is this is essential because it comes a moment that you are not there anymore and you know that he needs to know that God's there to avoid some bad kind of acts attitudes etc that's the reason that the work of the dead to make a passenger a passenger a transition to be just like a policeman and the God the God be has a policy in presence there present policeman kind of the God sees everything that kids do teach our kids to be responsibility how to be responsible for Herbert chap chapter 7 7 1 to 5 God for example in these days that God like to intervene in everything my dad closed a uh, college a uh, school that we have a lot of parents my dad closed the school for example a lot of Christian parents they process my brother because the parents didn't want to teach discipline take the trash and put it on the garbage no I won't no one's my no one's my parent here I won't go okay put on trash I won't do that so go to the secretary to the principal I go but I won't put the trash so she got a detention got a suspension and the, the parents just took the process where is the kid is now and the judgment day the God will talk about it maybe don't interfere in the things that your kids involve it you need to trust in your college you need to trust in the school the, because the Bible says it's you are fool if you hear just a part how can you say fool in, in from Amazon you say we say here lesu if you hear just one side we need to hear the both sides why you are in detention my my kids you know it do you know I don't know that what was in are you in trouble are you studying no no I are studying you are in, in tell me the truth because I'm gonna ask to the teacher I'm gonna ask to the teacher and if, he, if I know the truth you will be regret the, the time you was a bore <sighs> I brought you in this world and I take away for this world too you don't say bad words to principal it happens a lot in our society that's the reason that we are living a g horrible generation Paul said it's like the end days generation but all people cannot be there we are the fish alive that swim Angus the water strong waters we will fight until the to take away from the hell teach them to be responsible you should remember the, where when he is a kid hey you, you keep away all your things where is your notebook pen pencil but he is 13 just take him let the hand to take a, a bad a bad note a bad no no we have a mom to call the kids like a 30 minutes so oh, let him like 30 minutes without sleeping let the hand like a to repeat the year the great again because when the people when the kid has when the the kid can is like a four years old he pay like drugs to, tra to traffic your pain the police just to just put him in, in jail you interfere until the death to the son's life kids lives 
just when it is really really essential you need to interfere in his life in her life only when he's in danger when he's a kid she's a kid teach them a responsibility teach them to clean the house we're talking about a lot of responsible to clean the house to cut the grain to wash the wash the house they don't get involved in drugs and gangs teach them responsibility this is good teach them number nine don't be don't do the things later Proverb 28.9 Proverbs Proverbs 6.28 No, 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 just let me him finish this game here. Kids, keep it, turn it off the game. And let's have lunch. Son, turn it off this game, and do your homework. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you are like if you if you reclaim you you won't have any game anymore you need to do it dad dad you don't need to be hey you stay one year without video game no 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 you don't need to do it this is so much you like kidding your you are killing the mosquito with a big gun If you don't, for example, if you, <laughs> if you wear a mask, you will pay like 190 reais. Don't invent rules that will be, don't be less rules, but you need we need to have some rulers, but we need to, ha to have this feedback. Because if you have a lot of rules, no one take you or like take care of you, take you as serious. Like this, a politics that he signed this law like four months ago. This is a fool. This, this is a fool rule. Tell me something, David. Tell me something. This is foolish. Teach your kid, number 10, the value of the job, Proverbs 6 to 6 to 10. God institute the job. You need to work because we don't like to work, right? The work did come to the curse of the sin. This is not the fruit of the original sin. This is the prayer. This comes before the sin. It comes with after seeing the swear and the obstacles, the employment, the accidents of job. But the job, the work comes first. God made us to work. He connected the self-esteem with the job. The kids didn't work, has like a, le a, a less self-esteem. They have deficient love, self-love. Because you need to work. That God made you the, the work. Oh, this is good. You have the sensation of victory, serotonin, oxytocin, all these kind of hormones. The well, very well hormone. To admire what did you do to help your father wash your car and to see all the. the a kind of work. Oh, I clean in my car. That's so good. To look the dishes, all wash it. To see the floor, wash it. A cell, a good sensation. When he he see the reward, of the money. When you feel the taste of again the money, you see, he change. Now he wants to work two, three works. You have reward your kids. Reward your kids. Give them back when he do very well their jobs.
since the kids, since they begin, since early your kids have to, to do their job very well, teach them the value of the job. Number 11, teach your kids to be, to be generous. Proverbs 10, 9, to be, to be generous. This is the secret of be prosper, to have prosperity. And God wants to teach them to be generous as people in with God. I consider myself a very generous people, a person. How, why am I generous? Because I reach it? That? No, because my, teach, my parents told me that. When I was 11, I have my own money. My dad and my mom give me money and say, okay, give it to your friend that needs it. Give it as an offer to God. And I have, when I have my own money selling Jatoba, I used to, to sell, so it's to sell toys. We have a collection of we have a small balls, we have a play with them. And my dad say, hey, you need to have to my part, my part to God. You only, later, you, you give to God only to your part. I had a blind friend, for example. He just to see like shadows. Only a surgery can resolve it. And they were poor, and my dad told me, Hey, that has a surgery. We have a medical, but we cost like my one month salary. So do you agree to pay, to give that money, to pay his surgery? We don't have a scream, lollipop. We eat very basic two months. So, but we pay this surgery. We need to pay in cash. So we agree with that, we agree with that, and we pay, and we feel like a part of the, this boy that saw the world, and that he's still seeing the world, read the Bible, the Bible, be a servant of God, and his dad did it thank us. But you know why? Because his dad never teach, taught him, and his grandpa never taught him how to say thank you. Teach your kid to be generous. When the Christmas, hey, do you want to give you 50 reais? Hey, how about we, we buy a present of 30 in this? And your friends, friends that don't have any gift, let's choose someone, some, some gift to give to him. How to be generous with the others, with the unfortunate people, always with God too. Number 12, teach your kids, it's not good to be like a smart, like a smart boy, girl, in the better way. In a better way. Like in some kind of movies, they are like heroes. And the kids watch that. The kids take take for them like smart people. This they don't have God and they go to hell. You need to understand it. That your kid don't need to to get mod, a model because to act like a in better way smart bad smart people it's, it's not good to be a it's not to be a bad people don't take this away from you this kind of people bad smart people this is a scene to for example you have the money you need to give your money back like a Nichols. Don't be a bad smart guy. Teach them. To be honest, when someone has some Nichols, you give them back. 
this is a steel. When you see someone, where if you see some money in the street, if if you if you see some money on the floor, and you know where what is belong to the person. God see all the things. Teach your kids number thirteen, Proverbs six seventeen to eighteen. Teach about the seven sins sins that God hated. Then they are pride, lie, violence. Corruption. Man, when I read it, oh my goodness, the Brazil is in a bad, bad, bad things. All the sins that we need to choose, all we have, we are make all these sins here, Brazil. Feet they run to the evil, fake news, and the brothers and sisters in division. God hates the kind of sins. You need to know it. Number 14. Teach your kids to fear God and love His Word. Proverbs 9, 10. If you fear God, is the base of it. Any knowledge, any knowledge, any wise wisdom. We need to teach the kids we have here to get reverence to the Word of God, reverence for the moments of with God. This is important. And kids learn it. You don't have idea how the kids are smart. You don't have the subesteem, the understeem, the intelligence that God gives to the kids. Kids are very intelligent. They are who you do of them. You train them. Are to be irreverent kids or not. That's the reason that we teach them. Because some people don't like it, but this is you make the difference in kids' life. You, you be in success life. You get success in life. You get success in their king of God. Teach them kids how to Fear God and love His Word. Congrats, you bring your kids to the Nova Kids here. Kids program. Have some stickers to give to the dad. For example, a father look at, at me. He bring a, her daughter in the morning. He brought her in the middle day, midday, to bring his her home. And they got, he went to secretary. Hey, I want a sticker. I want a sticker. They didn't, they didn't take him. But they didn't bring it. They didn't bring it to his dad. Congrats, congrats, dad. But he are trying to to trying to bring her daughter to the her kids to learn the word of God. Congrats to you that did you congrats to you that you bring your kid and you still study the Bible with us here. You you see one day that you, how the good things you do in your day lives to love the God's life, the God's way. My mom, for example. He used to pay us to learn the Bible. Does exist any more motivation? He used to pay with money. Hey, let's go to um, a, a, a store. We have a, a store called the Low Brasses, like a McDonald's, like a fast food. Oh, frappe, frappe of coconut. That's like a like a paradise. It's like a heaven. It's like a, a step before a heaven. That's a wonderful thing. My mom used to say, Hey, we go to... We, ha we would bring... You have a lot of milkshake, like we explode it. Whoa. It would be my day to go to heaven. When? When you finish, when you memorize the psalm like uh, 119, <laughs> that's a joke. 
we have some milkshake and better memorize the Psalm 1. Another milkshake. Psalm 23, Psalm 133, etc. And in that way, he put, put the God of God, Word of God in our lives. We need to reward our kids because they are get, they are studying hard. They are getting motivated to study the Word of God. Motivate your kids. Reward them to to put in this world in their lives. They will make a lot of a difference. They will change their lives, make a difference in the eternity. Number 15. Teach the king to love the knowledge. Proverbs 14, 21. If you love the discipline, you love the disciplines. If you love the discipline, you love the knowledge, you love the study, the subject. Teach them how living, how growing up improves their minds. If you are working out, you are like 9 to 10, you, they need to run a lot because they get improving their memory, memory, memories. Wow, you have uh, many, many stories about your, to your childhood. Yes, because I ran a lot when I was too young. When I, when I die, for example, they got some autopsy. They check that my memory is very, very good. You need to run like when you are nine to ten years old. I used to run like two hours each day. Like run from everybody, run for everything, running every time. I used to run every time, like snack time, finish the time. I had to study in the physical education too. When I get home, before I have the dinner, I run again, like 30 minutes. Put your kids to run. Let them run. If some of you need to run with them, it's very, very good. So, the God wants that you teach them how to like to study of the art of the, 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 the education art. Teach your kids to read, to like your reading. Because, for example, you are dead. That's a new, new, re a new, a new movie, a new book. Hey, it says it's a movie because it's easier. Because if you have, a, you take like nine, six hours. It's easier, but the really, you make it, their life is so much better because they develop them. The imagination, creativity, the grammar, or the volip, spelling, the speaking. That's the reason that spe the reading is very, very important. Wow, but I speak, I read is so bad. But the, the kids want that, that read. The kids prefer when they father and mother, the dad and mom reads the history better than the TV, but I'm feel ashamed. Trent read the page, Trent 10 times, let's read a story. So help your kid read the story. Do you remember the story? For example, we have a very, very surgery, very medical surgery doctor, uh, Ben Carson. He used to live in a in a in a very poor neighborhood. His mom used to be a laundry laundry clothes washing clothes. But she decided to 
They kids don't be bad people, so they study a lot. The, every week they used to bring a book to them studying. No, no, you make a, you make a resume of this book. If you don't read this book, you'll be hit. I'll hit you. But she didn't can read. Used to check this resume, check it. No, no, this calligraphy is like a bad, your, your letters here. But they discovered, they f discovered that when they were 12, they did it can read, but then now it's multimillionary. Multimillion. And their friends passed away. A lot of them went to hell, but they put them in the heaven heaven way they are in just for, just for kids just for people because they tell them how to love it they study the words teach them encourage them to read more teach them your kids how to ask for forgiven god said if you are forgive your sins he is faithful and fair in to forgive you for each every one of your sinners that Jesus died on the cross to forgive your sins to forgive teach your kids to ask for forgiving if they hurt someone need to pay someone or fix something God wants that we live in a freedom in freedom you want to feel in, in, in heads down Just to be walking everywhere without bad situation at last. Teach your kids how to love their brothers. Don't allow that your ki that your kids fight with the others. Teach them how to live in peaceful in harmony, in peace in harmony. Oh, it's so good when the brother and sister are in union we have a peace we have a successful psalm 33 well in this moment i want that every father here will stand up here we are going to have a moment of prayer in this moment if you are if you have some sticker you receive some sticker in your off scene, in your car, to your motorcycle, what do you have, you put that. Remember that this church loves you as you are. God loves you too. That you be a great, you do a great ministry as, as a father. You are receive a resume of this messenger here, of this service. And don't forget, you remember of all the things you learned here, what you need to teach your kids here tonight. How you are fundamental in the life and the su success of your kids. It doesn't exist. I think more important that you are faithful to your family. Each man knows that you are, you feel like a, you feel more obsessed for a new face. That's part of the fight of man. The male, don't give up, don't feed it because you feel regret. You and your kids go to hell, don't forget it, be faithful. Because you are make some mistake, you are you are mistaken against God, against your woman. You are take a risk for your eternity of your kids. There's any woman or man that will be like it's worth to make your kids on hell. Be strong, be strong, be faithful, men and women that stay together to create the kids, to raise the kids. The probability 
your kids take away from you is is small. If you are interested of the success of your kids, of the learning, the good creation of your kids, that's our prayer tonight. I want that tonight your kids, your dad is here. You can touch them in some part of his body. Touch him. Touch him. If you are too far, you are just put the hands in direction, his direction. We want to honor your dad. We need to pray to him, to ask to God to bless them tonight. I, you don't imagine how I happy I am because I knew that we have a lot of men here. That's a different church. A lot of church we have like a religion of women. But in this church, God put a lot of men here. Thanks. Because you're faithful here, I thank God, because you are an interesting father here. Keep that. Don't give up. Let's pray. Dear God, Heavenly Father, see God, how many men we have here, we just need to thank you, your whore, to please your whore. Men washed by this blood of God, a lot of children of you, they are looking for to live in your commandments and put the kids in your way, God, of the truth, of the life. Dad, Father, we will not ask for a special blessing. Everybody is stand up. Everybody is watching us online. They are internet. And the kids, they are praying to the Father. God bless them in the extraordinary way. If they are employing it, they get a job. If they are sick and they get health fast, give them discernment, strong, bigger, and they need to be a, a, a dad just like you want. Give them wisdom, discernment to, to each situation. The creation of and the raising of the kids to walk with them, to put them in your way, God. To the heaven's way. Keep it, the eyes, Angus, the immoral women, Angus, the others' activity to destroy the family, to destroy this family. He, they feel they always looking for the future and decide who is your wish, God. Bless them, protect them, guard them, guard them. In Jesus' name, we ask you, Amen. Happy and night, Father's Day. God bless you. Have a good week, you all.